in recent weeks, when you've been watching EastEnders or you've been watching The Apprentice or Great British Bake Off, these little mysterious trailers keep popping up that just say class and then they disappear. If you're like me, you've been wondering, whoa, whoa, what's all that about then? <laughs> Joined right now in the studio, uh, Vivian Opara, Fanny El Saeed and Sophie Lankin from class. Can we make some motion then, please? Come on, man. Uh, now, I, I, I just need to, to, to get some kind of idea about what's going on here with class is very mysterious right now guys yeah what what if anything can you tell me <laughs> not much to okay be come great, thank you for coming nice um, <laughs> avenue um, <laughs> um class is a doctor who spin-off it's um it's set in coal hill academy uh which featured in the very first doctor who episode ever as coal hill school in 1963 um and it's come in and out of the series since and now um there's a, a new bbc3 series following the four of us um as six formers uh, having to save the world so what can you tell me if anything about your characters vivian i'm starting with you what can Hello. you what can you tell me about your character um, my character is she's Bear smart, so she got me <laughs> into six. She's bear smart. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's um, she's a bit defensive because she's younger than everyone else. Okay. But um, now she's she kind of like keeps everyone grounded, which is weird. Cause she's a young one. But yeah. So what are you like? What are you look like? Superheroes? What's what's going on here? <laughs> Low key. Kinda. Yeah. Not, well, kind of superish heroes to a human extent. Like we're just heroes. <laughs> okay, just like human heroes. Mm, human yeah. heroes. Yeah. Like, the doctor leaves us to um to to deal with what happens when he leaves. Yeah. So okay, we're left with the task to basically save the rest of the world. So um, because it's because it's a Doctor Who spin-off, I'm mm. guessing you have to do a lot of Doctor Who homework. Yeah, we have to do yes a bit of no. research. Yeah, yeah, like enough so we sort of knew the universe we were entering, <coughs> but also because it's its own show in its own right, we kind of can sort of take it where we want to go. Okay. Yeah. It'll be all right. So if you don't watch Doctor Who, mm. can you still watch Class? A Definitely, thousand billion yeah. percent. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's what they've, well, Patrick's really tried to do that. I mean, he's obviously made a lot of references to Doctor Who and kept it within the universe, but he's really tried and wants to create his own show. And yeah, I feel like he that's what he's really has, tried yeah. to do. Okay, because I think a lot of people that may not have necessarily watched Doctor Who mm. may jump onto class. But what mm. I want yeah. from you guys right now is, I'm putting you on the spot, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me briefly in 30 seconds, yeah, <laughs> just a little wrap up of what Doctor Who is and how it leans into class. <laughs> Okay, you got you guys are all. Okay, everyone's okay, looking nervous right now. Who's got this? Who's stepping up? Who's stepping up? Stepping up onto the mic. Cool. So, um, <laughs> is you you move around space and time, and the show takes you to different places. Whereas class is like an intergalactic melting pot, so all the aliens and the teenage troubles and everything is in one place, and so everything happens at home. Whereas the doctor takes places. Oh, oh, we're doing it. 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 we <laughs> and the cast of class is sticking around. Stay right here for me, guys. Here's Ken Jones with All Right. Thank you, thank you, guys, for joining me. Uh, now, Faddy, uh, people will recognise you from uh, Brotherhood, the yeah. movie, as the guy that was getting just draped <laughs> around, oh, yeah. dragged about. Uh, I probably didn't want to be known for that guy. <laughs> You're that guy. Yeah. You're the guy that was just getting beat up loads in Brotherhood. Uh, how different um, is class in terms of stepping into that role well, I'm not compared to something like as um, much. There's, there's, no, the there's no there's no beating up. Who was it that said to me? Um, uh, Kaode. Yeah. Yeah. RS. Yeah. I remember he said to me, he was like, oh, like, oh, when are you going to, bro, you're getting banged up, you're getting banged up. And I was like, trust me, like, I've got one where I'm not getting banged up <laughs> soon. Because it, in, even in class, I am going to be waiting to for someone up. to just punch you in the eye. Think, is that, think, is that not going to come? It happened. Yeah, it happened yeah, yeah, so yeah. much. Like, you'll, you'll be satisfied. So you are, you are just now in life the guy. No, just gets, no, 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 I'm not It's because he's so handsome, no, you, so we have to mess up his face a bit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you are that guy. Yeah, he is that guy. That feel like it would be funny for me to get jealousy. Up. Just uh, yeah, they're jealousy. jealous of your pretty face, Fanny. <laughs> uh, no, guys, class kicks off uh, this Saturday, uh, BBC okay. Three, 10 a.m. People can watch the first episode. Why? Why should we? Why should we wake up on Saturday morning and watch class? Because Sell it to me. Give it to me now. Genuinely, I'm not just saying it's non-biased opinion. I haven't seen a show like anything this in the like UK. This. Anything like this before in the UK. We see it a lot in America. We see like these glossy, cool, 
you know, shows for our, our, our sort of audience, but I've never it's seen not, something like this It's like a like hybrid of sort of British yeah. grittiness with like American glossiness. So it's just, it's so good. And like, cause filming it and if the cast agree, we all put our heart into it. And so you can't, I don't think people won't be able to like relate to and want to not watch something that everyone's put their heart into. Yeah. And so. I feel like that's, that's when everyone's heart's in the right place. That's when you really that's create magic. Something ama- and amazing. Honestly, like, that's, yeah. that's what class is. Everyone's just, hearts in the right place mm-hmm. cast crew down to every single person and we've created something special all the fans like, even already all right. the fans big up all the fans big up, <laughs> big up the classmates do you get do you get nervous at all with something like Doctor Who which has got quite a big legacy of its own do you get nervous about how those fans are going to receive class it was nerve wracking at first I think because Doctor Who is like it's a household name um, and it really is like a bit of a yeah. national treasure so yeah there's there's pressure with that because we just we want to please the fans but then also we want to gain our own fans like yeah. Yeah. We'd, we'd love um, for, for a completely different audience as well to watch it because those yeah. super fans, woo! They will be, they they'll be all up in your mentions, you know? Okay. No, <laughs> they you are, pr- they you are, said but I respect them so <laughs> No, I've had that no, before. I remember I posted... Before you you to have to school before. yourself because I remember I even posted a picture with um, Clara like not even her it was just we was in a Doctor Who experience and I posted a picture with her TARDIS and everyone got on to me like no you shouldn't be doing that she's dead and I'm it's like disrespectful. what Whoa. it was just a picture like no yeah. but they're really really yeah they're on it they're super fans yeah. but they're super cool and I respect them all so much yeah. because just from doing our research we just really appreciate Doctor yeah. Who fans and why they respect you can see the why they love it so we can, they can see, yeah exactly yeah. and we love it too and we cannot wait to Give them something new. Yeah. yeah. Guys, we can't wait to see more of you on our TV screens. Uh, make some noise, please, for Vivian Aparo, uh, Fanny Altaid and Sophie Atkins. Class it's kicks off this lit, Saturday. Big up, big up, big up. 10 a.m. BBC Free. Go watch that. It's lit. <laughs> <laughs>